I want you to think about Dr. Dre's The Chronic. Dr. Dre, you know, he's really a classic music producer. He knows how to make stuff sound good. Like his innovation was making stuff sound good. How he played all of his old beats is he would load a drum loop into his sampler and he'd play different drum sounds over it. This is how he did all of the NWA stuff. So he wouldn't actually sample drum loops, he'd replay them, okay? And then when he got like, you know, he got screwed pretty pretty ba badly in the NWA deal. And when he made the chronic, he did what was called interpolation. And basically what he did was he got um, a compulsory license to do cover versions of a lot of George Clinton and Parliament Funk Funkadelic and Leon Haywood and Ohio Players, you know, to do, do cover versions of his songs. He then paid uh, session musicians to come in and record those cover versions in that he owned the master sound recording rights to those cover versions he would then sample those cover versions and in that he would only have to pay um you know he'd only have to pay um a publishing fee and get a mechanical license on the publishing side he didn't have to get any master use clearance because he owned the masters. So you see what I'm saying? Interpolation is he licensed to do a cover version for the, for the composition and lyrics. He hired session musicians to perform those lyrics and compositions. He then sampled those sound recordings. Those sound recordings, he owned the master rights to those cover versions, and then he just had to pay songwriting or publishing to the, to the authors. So he basically took out the record label and recording artists, artists out of the, the pay thing. That's kind of what interpolation is. You use small amounts of, of a whole, um, you know, another example would be like, you could think of like uh, uh, the Fuji's Killing Me Softly where Lauren Hill, you know, sings parts of Roberta Flack's Killing Me Softly. So, and so it's when you like only sing a little bit or, or use a little bit of someone's lyrics, but you re-perform them. And you don't do a cover version, you don't change the meaning necessarily, but you re-perform them. That's what Dr. Dre essentially did. It's called in interpola interpolation. That will be on the test. And if you sit and you can kind of see this image here, this is the back of the record, you can look at um, all the songwriting credits and you can see where, you know, um, you know, let Me Ride contains a sample of Mothership Connection written by George Clinton, Bootsy Collins, Bernie Worrell, and published by Werner Chapel. Um, you know, but it says nothing about like, like the record label. And that's because he interpolated his own recording of that comp composition. So if he actually sampled the sound recording, there'd be two credits on there. One credit to um, whoever you know owns the compositional rights and one credit to whoever owns um, the master rights you have to list them on, on the song so you if you can see that close up you can kind of see what, what he did there and some of the other samples list both um, you know this the record label and the publishing company <laughs> <laughs>